Now all we have to do is just uh, format the spreadsheet to look a little nicer. So I'm going to go Control Home. I'm going to highlight data section here and I'm going to go out to F and I'll put a, a blue, uh, maybe I'll use the same color, uh, the olive green. I'll put a, a thick box border around it. Maybe I'll control bold. Moving on down, let's format the um, currency amounts. We have principal amount, we have monthly interest, all these. I'm control clicking as I go along, so let me try that again. Control click, and I'm holding the control button down, and I'm clicking, and you can even drag and drop if you wanted. Um, but maybe I'll set those all as currency with uh, two digits. The other thing here is the loan period in years. We might choose to center that, so under alignment here, under the home alignment, I might choose to center. Maybe I'll even center the interest rate as well. Um, just maybe look, make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, the check figure, since that's kind of an important thing, I might control B that. I'll bold it. Let's go down to the answer section. I'll once again go out to F. Maybe I'll make this uh, blue. Maybe a light blue and put a thick box board around it and control B the answer section. The titles here, I'm going to highlight all those. So that's just shift end over. That's a, a right arrow key. And I'm going to bold it, underline it, center it. Those are things you can do. The actual uh, months, I might choose to shift end down. And I want to center those. Makes it look a little bit nicer. And then uh, all these payments, they're all uh, double digit, so maybe I'll just use a normal comma style. Uh, we could put a currency there, but I think people would realize that that is currency. Uh, so those all seem to be formatted okay. One other thing we might choose to do is maybe document it a little bit better. Uh, maybe when someone pulls this up and sees a check figure, they wouldn't know what it's supposed to tell them or when they would know whether it's an error. So you can right click and uh, I might have to bring this up a little bit just so you can see this here. I'm going to bring this up. So I'm going to right click and you see insert comment. And so I insert a comment and here's where you can describe to the user what this uh, what this does. This check figure will highlight in red with yellow text if the schedule detail does not match the total payments computation above. And that would help someone who follows behind you because I hope you realize that uh, whatever job you have you won't stay in it your whole life. At least we hope you'll get a little variety and move on to other things. Uh, and so the schedules that you create worksheets that you create will probably be used by someone else. So if you can document them to be helpful uh, for future users, that's, that's always a, a very nice gesture. So let's step back and look at this and, and run a couple test items through to make sure it's working the way we want it to. Uh, let's say, um, well first off when we look at this, it looks like these columns are a little narrow. Why don't we um, choose column B, C, D, yeah, and uh, right click them and let's change the column width so we can um, choose column width and let's make these maybe 15 wide and that'll be a little bit bigger uh, just in case someone puts in a really large uh, loan amount. Let's say someone puts in a, a $1 million loan amount or $10 million loan amount. If you look down here you might want to just check all the way down to make sure that you don't get uh, values that um, in fact, I'll go end down. Uh, it looks like the, the formatting still works. Sometimes if this column is too narrow, for example, if, if this D column were too narrow, you get this pound, pound, pound. All that means is that the, the column's too narrow. So just right click it, or well, what you can do is you can uh, double click and it'll automatically size it. Uh, but just to be consistent, we'll right click it and choose column width to be 15 to put it back to how it is. So as long as the loans are uh, within reasonable size, um, looks like these column widths are fine. It doesn't look like any words are chopped off. 
Um, it looks like this purpose has a little bit too much space up here, so maybe we'll shorten the uh, cell size. Um, just one last scan. Once again, just kind of check your work. You might want to do a really short loan. Let's do a 10 million, 8% just for one year. And, um, you know, you can uh, check the math there. It's 10 million. Uh, the interest on that, um, as you can imagine, 10 million times 8% one year, 800,000. And therefore, the math seems to match there. And you can scan down. And so that's another way of checking. You can see that uh, this also works down below. There are no other values as you work all, the, all your way down. So that's good. Control Home again. Um, maybe I will uh, center these. But uh, you don't want to spend a, too much time on formatting. Uh, as, as mentioned in the class, you should first verify. Um, in, in, you you want to go through the process of ensuring that your spreadsheet is coming up with the right numbers before you spend any time on making it look beautiful. If you spend all your time making it look beautiful, but the answer is still wrong, it really doesn't matter how beautiful it is. So I hope this has been a useful tutorial to you. Um, this is one of the tutorials that you will need to create in the testing center uh, within a certain time frame which will be specified. Um, the best way to get good at this is to just practice and do it over and over again and, and learn the hotkeys to get your speed up because you will be graded both on speed as well as correctness of your spreadsheet. I wish you all the best. Comma style up here.